During the final excavations on Oak Island, a frightening discovery was made. Once again, a remarkable discovery has been made, and this time it provides conclusive evidence that the Oak Island conceals wealth. During their concluding excavation of the C1 cluster on Oak Island, the Oak Island made an unsettling discovery. The team has been keeping a close watch on the progress in the hopes that any significant developments will bring them closer to the treasure chamber or offset vault they have been searching for so long. B4 Sea Shaft is nearly at its utmost depth of approximately 90 feet. This location is located just 5 feet to the north of Borhal Sea. They discovered what may be the remains of 15th century wooden structures. Significant traces of silver and gold were also discovered, leading to speculation about the original location of the money pit and the possibility of a conduit leading to a treasure chamber. Well, this frightening discovery at Oak Island during the final excavation appears to be more exciting than previously believed. How did humans in the 15th century use wood to construct such complex tunnel networks? I do not understand the purpose of this. The discovery of a tunnel at a depth of 90 feet is viewed as a significant indicator that they are closing in on the original location of the money pit. Each excavation increases the likelihood that precious objects will be discovered in the subsequent grab or scoop. Since the gold was discovered in the water, they believe it may have been transported to the money pit. The group unearths a few random timber planks, but the most significant discovery is a massive iron fastener. The craftsmanship's primordial nature suggests that it is at least a century old. The fact that it occurred prior to the discovery of the money grave leads them to the conclusion that there may be artifacts from that time period somewhere. One of the items is a hand-forged spike, which immediately becomes the subject of fascination. Given the significance of each prospective lead, the organization intends to investigate the influx. It appears crude, but it contains hand-forged raw iron and shows signs of age, making it a significant artifact that may cast light on Oak Island's history. At a depth of about 130 feet in the B4C shaft, the crew encounters difficulty after hitting granite. Due to time constraints, further excavation in the Money Pit area cannot occur this year, but information gathered from the five massive steel tunnels dug in the preceding months lends credence to the theory that the treasure sought after for more than two centuries is still buried somewhere beneath Oak Island. The team is aware of the difficulty posed by the funding gap, as well as the significance of technological innovation and the effective application of existing technologies in order to continue their investigation. We may soon learn more about the spike's history and significance thanks to Carmen's knowledge and careful examination of it. The iron spike discovered in B, 4 C shaft, led Carmen Legg to conclude that it belonged to a Middle Ages rock drill. The crew had discovered a few swages two years prior, and he concluded that they may have been used to sharpen rock drills. He connected the two by asserting that the swages were found in the same location. It is believed that the rock drill, which is utilized for both drilling rocks and splitting apart enormous boulders, has been in use for quite some time. The rock tool resembles those employed in medieval times. Its very presence inspires a multitude of intriguing theories regarding the money pit's history and the wealth it conceals. The group questions if this artifact provides additional evidence that they are approaching the legendary treasure. The rock auger is historically significant because it was likely utilized in the initial construction of the money pit. The prospect of discovering a concealed chamber or room enhances the appeal of further exploration. As they reflect on the new discoveries the crew has made throughout Oak Island, such as the stone-paved section in the marsh along the ancient stone road, they ponder who may be responsible for the Oak Island enigma. Are they possibly getting closer to determining who is behind this mystery? and specifically what is hidden within the money pit. Even as they continue their quest for answers, the Legina brothers are grateful for the unwavering support and rapt attention of their dedicated staff and audience. Given that scientific evidence indicates the presence of vast quantities of gold and silver beneath the surface, they have good cause to continue their search for the elusive treasure. As they continue to make new openings and discoveries that provide them with valuable new information, the crew remains optimistic regarding their overall progress. The discovery of the artisanal spike adds to their growing body of knowledge in this discipline, which was used to calculate the precise elevations of the tunnel. 
The group's intention to conduct additional research, including C14 testing, demonstrates its significance. Marty Legina, Craig Tester, Gary Drayton, and blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg returned to the Institute to discuss the iron spike they discovered at a depth of over 100 feet in the B4C shaft. The enigma of Oak Island has evolved into a captivating tale, a perplexing puzzle whose mystique has only grown as time has passed. Their words, which emphasize their conviction that gold can be located on oak, exude confidence. During the height of piracy in the late 17th and early 18th centuries, it was widely believed that Oak Island served as a secure haven for pirates operating along the entire east coast of North America and in the Caribbean. This notion has existed since the beginning of island exploration. They pondered whether this was the location where a pirate commander had hidden his loot. As they proceeded deeper into the tunnel, however, water began to fill it. This was owing to the peculiar location of the island they were working on, which was above a glacial mound. Despite the fact that no treasure was ever discovered on Oak Island, the legend surrounding the purported location of the loot has been so captivating for the past 225 years that visitors have been making the voyage there. Over time, others began searching for wealth all over the island, not just in the money pit dug by McGinnis and his companions. However, what is the treasure casket intended to contain? As a young man, Franklin Delano Roosevelt who would later become the 32nd President of the United States, became intrigued by the topic after his father, who had business interests in Nova Scotia, provided details about the rumored wealth. This was the result of FDR's father's involvement in the province. The onset of the Second World War in Europe prevented him from traveling to Oak Island in 1939, despite his efforts to keep apprised of the most recent information about the island throughout the remainder of his life. In a similar vein, two prominent actors from the middle of the 20th century, Errol Flynn and John Wayne, funded expeditions to search for the Oak Island treasure. Despite their lack of success, they continue to unearth evidence that fascinates and confounds people in equal measure. Be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications for more timely updates on fascinating new discoveries. Numerous individuals have a variety of plausible and implausible hypotheses regarding the contents of the Oak Island treasure. The most prevalent and plausible explanation is that it is the plundered fortune of a notorious pirate who operated between 1660 and 1730, which is generally accepted to have been the golden age of piracy. Famous pirates and buccaneers frequented the rivers along the east coast of North America, from Canada to the Caribbean during this time period. Edward Teach, also known as the infamous pirate Blackbeard, was one of these individuals. Due to the high level of piracy that existed during this time, the governments of Spain, England, France, and other countries with a financial stake in the security of their commerce in this region were unable to prevent pirate attacks on colonial ships returning to Europe. Beginning with the Treaty of Utrecht, which ended the War of the Spanish Succession in 1713 and was signed by the main European powers, coordinated attacks on pirate ships put an end to the golden age of piracy in the Western Atlantic. The Treaty of Utrecht terminated the War of the Spanish Succession officially. The history of the Money Pit on Oak Island is shrouded in mystique. According to geology, the Money Pit was not an underground vault constructed by humans to hold wealth. The bedrock of the island is readily eroded due to its proximity to the ocean and groundwater. Sinkholes can result from the collapse of a network of faults and underground caverns beneath the surface. Despite this, the island's allure has attracted treasure hunters. The stories have provoked and fueled speculation regarding the crater's origins. In space, researchers have discovered a new force. Click the following video to learn what it is.